Philadelphia is a magic city. There's an artist named Clarence Schmidt. He used a lot of mirror. And I saw the work when I was 19 years old. The mirrors now that I use are very small and I can make lines with them. And I got that from kids breaking the bigger mirror. They broke the bigger mirror and I would patch it up. The mirror allowed me the luxury of just putting anything anywhere because there was no way of controlling the composition. It would always be challenged by what was in front of it. The color changes, the rhythms, the movement. The Painted Bride, the girl next door. Well, in this case, it was the girl next door. First, I did my studio then the outside of my studio, then other people's walls, and then the big one, the mother load, the painted bride. And this building made no sense, but it was a cultural phenomena, a place where artists of all kinds, musical talents, performance artists, dancers, got their chance perform before a large public. So I called it the skin of the bride. They called it the skin because it was the outside. What was important was the inside. The outside was special to look at, but the inside was the heart of the bride. The heart of the bride was all the performers that came through all those years. No, the bride took nine years of nine years of my life. Nine years of going up and down on a scaffolding. Nine years of work from seven in the morning to ten at night. It was a uh, a labor of love. The process was what it was all about. Sometimes I would pick things up right from the street. They were there waiting for me. It was like godsend each time. Each time special things would come to me. Me with a big nose. So interesting that I climbed scaffolding to get around and now I don't have the strength to even climb up the second rung of a ladder. For a while I was swinging through it like a little monkey. And I love that feeling. It was just intuition that pulled me along and a sense of a desire to finish something, to make something special, to make something for this city. Over the years, it stuck. It stuck to the walls. Now it's being unstuck. I understand that times change. Since I was born in 1939, a lot has changed over the time. A lot continues to change, and it seems to speed up the changes. So if something is saved of my work, bravo. If nothing is saved, well, we tried. Five years we tried to save the bride. Sometimes we succeeded and it looked like we were gonna have a building predicated on design concept of having the skin of the bride stay within the framework of a new construction. But then that dream ended, and now this is what we have, is a memory. That's what this film is about, a memory. A memory of something that was, that is no more. <laughs>